Good morning. It's like quarter after six. We're out here doing it. Um, so McKellar Island, and today we're just gonna go around and we're gonna uh, document some of my favorite spots on the island here. And there's this. Uh, I was just driving by to the first spot and I saw the staircase. And I really want to grab a quick uh, photo of it. It's not. Um, I have a certain photo of mind I want to shoot here, but uh, it requires a train being parked here, which is often the case. So hopefully in the coming days there'll be a new train here. There's a terminal down here uh, on Superior, and yeah, the idea I have would just require that train. So here's the shot for now. All right, we're just here along these tracks. Um, the sun is now peeking over the peeking over the trees, and uh, I wanted to get uh, um, just the sun coming through this bridge here. Oh. It's crazy how fast the sun comes once it starts rising. It's like it's a waste of no time at all. So we gotta get cracking here on this shot. There's an old mill here of some sort. Uh, years ago, almost. This year will be 10 years. My wife and I had our wedding photos in this abandoned, what well, is no longer abandoned. I'd love to get in there for a shot, but we're gonna just get a shot from the outside. Is today we'll respect the no trespassing. Just wanna get a shot of this entranceway coming in, you'll see. And then we're gonna go around back. There's another spot around back that's got a kind of a cool wide landscape view uh, of the property, the building, and just random stuff in there. So we'll head there afterwards. I don't know what it is about this spot, but I love it. And this is the third time I've come back here to get a shot. I wanted to come back in the morning at some point. Cause I don't know, don't want to create a stir, but also the light is so nice right now. And I don't know, I just love it. I've I've been following these a few film photographers and they've just given me this new perspective on the way I view things. And just have given me this crazy new eye for things I would have typically just overlooked when shooting in the past, so we're gonna get a few shots here and we'll be uh, on our way. We're just shooting this Dodge Ram and this cat, I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can see. This cat just jumped out of the truck. Gave me a bloody heart attack. Just saw this sweet boat. I was like, we gotta get a shot of this boat. We're also in crazy tick season, which is one of my favorite bugs. Especially when they dug themselves into your skin over at night. So this tall grass is gonna require me to check ticks after, but here's the boat. It's funny, when I set up to shoot this video this morning, I was my concern was, man, I'm not gonna have enough stuff to shoot. And I honestly could probably spend hours on this island. It's got so much character and there are so many sweet gems to shoot and yeah, I'm just I'm pumped on how this morning has turned out already. So finally made it to um, the location of that uh, pulp and paper mill uh, from the back and so we're gonna just head in here to the back to get a wide landscape shot, uh, especially with the sun just blasting it with its morning rays. Uh, should make for an awesome, awesome shot this morning. As I was saying before, my wife and I got our, had our wedding photos here. They had, at that time, they had, there was still this uh, gorgeous uh, white building that was um, up, abandoned of course, but just littered with, the whole side was just windows and when the light would hit it, it was just absolutely incredible. But that building has since been demolished. I'm out here on this uh, city property, I guess, dumping site. Uh, I know in the winter they usually pile a ton of snow here when they do snow removal. But uh, yeah, so I'm here. I want to get a shot of the power plant. Um, and so in this area we have this nice hill which will give me uh, just a bit a bit of I feel like a bit of a nicer angle so I've come in here to 
shoot from the top of that. Yep, that's what I was worried about. Need a longer lens, which is in the car. All right, so uh, I went back. I went back, switched my lens out. I had 30, shooting with 35 and that. Uh, I wasn't cutting it, so we swapped it out for the 85 and here's the result. Just want to get a few shots of the boats yeah that are in this lot here i think there's some sweet shots to be had here so let's uh make them happen it's crazy because there's more i could be shooting right now um yeah and I need to get home soon. I can only walk me home in 20 minutes. So there's more I could be shooting right now. And I could spend more time uh, on the island here, but uh, <laughs> the day is rapidly approaching, and I need to get started on family life and job life. So we're gonna try and zip over to uh, Mission Marsh for just a second. Get a couple shots and wrap it up over there. So, so we're here. There's this uh, cool boardwalk that typically is in use, but um, as you can see, it's currently not in use. Guys, thanks again for joining me this morning on my little tour around McKellar Island. Uh, again, uh, there are actually so many more shots I wanted to get. But time has run out, so this is where we'll leave it. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and the like button. And we'll see you in the next video.